Hey guys, welcome back. We are back with some more Paladin Strike. Today we are taking a look at Maeve. And before we jump into a match, I want to talk about her abilities. Our daggers is our basic attack, 0.8 second cooldown. You throw two rolling daggers into a figure eight pattern and they deal 450 damage each. She also has pounce, six second cooldown, quick dash forward into a designated direction. You collide to strike the first enemy and leap backwards for a certain distance, dealing 350 damage and slowing the target by 80% from 1.5 seconds. We also have Prowl, 10 second cooldown. You move 65% faster and replace the next normal attack with Phantom Knives, attacking for three seconds. Using Phantom Knives attack to cancel speed up and reload the ammo of daggers instantly to deal 600 damage to all enemies within the nearby round area. And of course our ultimate midnight, enemies have their vision restricted for four seconds. Maeve is interesting. She plays a lot different than she did on the other servers with the auto attacks where they automatically lock on because it was easy for people to target her. Well, now with the skill shots, it's a lot harder for people to hit her. So what we're going to do is we're going to hop into this match and this is already pre-recorded. This is from a live stream we did earlier today, and this is my very first match with Maeve. So what I want to do is show you guys exactly how it went and we did end up doing fairly well in it. All right, here it is. We hopped into the match. Now this match, we did not have a tank. This is Siege and first time playing, it's, you know, it's a, it's a bit different. Getting used to the skills, testing them here. Now that's the uh, one that runs in and that also reloads the daggers, which at the point in time when I was playing this, I didn't know, but skill shots with her are very helpful. If you notice, you see the daggers, they continue going through people. So, oh, right there, we almost died. That was very close. Come up here, hide in the bush. Now, this guy right here has no idea I'm right here. Neither of them do. So, I got a good chance to get a couple shots in on Drogos before he comes in. And then I kind of use some of these abilities as movement. Now your second ability, which is the one that also shoots out the stars, those can be very helpful to get away as well as as long as the dash is as well. Um, instead of using the dash to go in and actually hit them, you can use it for escapes, which you can see I did that a lot in this one All right there. Androxes did catch me, but I think that was one of the only few times we do get caught right here. Now jumping back in, let's see. You can use her second ability to speed up, like I said. And of course you do have some form of speed up while you're moving, especially coming out. Now you can see getting back out of the fight, reposition yourself. You don't want to get caught, especially as a flank. Now what makes this really fun now is like when you do go in, people don't automatically lock onto you. Like I said, you got a chance to get in on like these tanks right here. For instance, if it would have been the other version you would have instantly been shot down by that tank because he would have been directly targeting you. Now, he's got to hit them shots. As you can see, he didn't hit the shots. Let's see if we can't get some in here. Finish that Drogos off with that dash. That's what I meant where you could selectively use it. You know, if you want, if you need to go in and finish that kill off with that dash, you can. It's really nice to have. Also having that second ability, it's really fun. Here we go. The tank's pushing in, captured the payload, and Drogos is gonna push in. It's pretty bad, I mean, that was all of us there. Finish off their Sky, Bomb King, and we'll go ahead and push up, start zoning them a little bit. Go ahead and finish off this Andro, and give Cassie the quad, I believe, right here. There we go. A lot of damage getting thrown around. If you'll watch the tank, I'm going to go in right here. That does a good bit of damage. Now I finished out that shield and finished him off. That's the whole team right there. Watch the strike through with this uh, auto attacks. He's going to continue pushing and running the buck. Getting buck. Oh, buck missed. All right, we got him right here. All right, another legendary. That's four kills. All I need is one more right there. Can I get one more? All right, it looks like the timer may have reset for the penna. We're going for it though. Here we go. He rushed right back in with the damage I'm able to put out. 
now drogo's you see i just use my ultimate there you can see it on my screen i use it right there to save myself pretty much he he had no chance of hitting me he could have spammed here comes sky a little 1v1 with sky right here real quick she goes in viz that in that that blind sucks and keep your range with these flanks still the skill shots are definitely a huge improvement for the flanks like the first time i played mave if you guys remember quite a few of you watched it i i didn't really enjoy playing flank then because it was so easy to get just targeted and taken out now if they have to hit those shots we go get some damage in on him and hit that ultimate and get out barely dodge that right there all right we're gonna come up to the side got stuck on the wall right here oh godness all right this is a uh, scott ult luckily they didn't have it leveled up so it didn't do enough damage to take us out here we're gonna regen a little bit of health get right back into the action with these active cooldowns you can tell i've been using it right there and when you use the B ability, it also uh, reloads your your daggers as well. Now let's see me use it here in just a second. Watch, all my daggers just came back. Now this could be used similarly to like what Buck can do as well. Buck right now he's pretty strong just for the fact of his ultimate actively reloads those. So do be aware of what champions you're going up against, and uh, I'm sure the devs are paying attention to the numbers and stuff like this finish this guy off right here andro off bomb king we're gonna uh hide in this bush take this damage from this bomb 1125 he's got his stuff leveled up he's doing some some big damage that's an ace definitely avoid that and there's their whole team again all right 90 health we got to get out of here that's that's pretty crazy now we did fail to push they were successful in holding it off so now we got to go back back to the bases we don't have a tank we don't have anybody to soak up that all that damage but we do have a ton of damage output because that's pretty much what we're all running is damage except for that one pip which pip is the uh the flank in disguise everybody knows that and here it is finish this one off right here pentakill guys there it is ace them out that is an awesome feeling right there on the very first time playing a champion fully reloaded here it looks like everybody on our team is leveled up and you can tell killing people helps and yeah we're gonna take a death right here from the sky ult bomb king and drogo has got some damage in there as well there wasn't no surviving that that's what I mean by not having a tank. If I wouldn't have been there, yeah, I wouldn't have died, but I didn't have enough time to react to all of them coming in from different directions. Essentially, we got flanked. Now, here we go. Like I said, you can use that ability to get back in a lot faster. Gotta avoid the main bulk of the damage. And like you say, you see me using the uh, dash to move around and reposition myself a good bit. And there it is, guys. My very first victory playing Maeve. That was an extremely fun match. I'm not sure if you guys have played Maeve yet, but I really didn't expect the changes to affect flanks as much as it did. And it made quite a huge difference. If you guys haven't checked some of these champions out, make sure you do uh, we got a couple more coming here soon i'm not sure exactly how many more are going to be coming out in the update for this week but phase four rolls out in a couple more days so stay tuned for that and we went 36 and 2 we had 47,000 damage we took 29,000 damage and pulled out an mvp um Maeve guys what do you think about Maeve I actually thoroughly enjoyed playing the flank this time as to the last time when I played we were a bit ragey with it because it just it didn't feel right it was you were, you were too easy of a target with the lock on feature 
but this way i like it a lot better uh let me know what you guys think though in the comment section down below that's going to be it for this video guys thank you so much for watching as always like comment and subscribe i am soul bash you guys have a nice day